hi good morning well not good morning yeah i wouldn't know and we can arrive the book and share that beat of love i wanna ride Welcome back to another video. So today is gonna be more of like a vlog type of day. I'm gonna try and vlog. I tried this before, failed at it. I kept forgetting to pull out my camera, all that stuff. And I just also felt like very weird <laughs> pulling out my camera and recording. Um, Cause I felt like everyone was staring at me, but I'm gonna try to get over that today. Um, so yeah. As of plans for today, or what we, what you should be seeing in this vlog, um, it's Saturday, so it's the weekend, and I have to get my nails done today. I have to also drop my little sister off at like this volunteer author. I said authorization for <laughs> orientation. Um, I also wanted to stop at the mall real quick, but I'm not going to go to the mall that's the closest to my house. I'm going to go to one that's like 30 minutes away because they have like the Zara and the stores that I really like to shop at. My hands are so ashy. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> but yeah, they have the stores that I shop at. So I wanted to go in there real quick. I'm mostly just going for really Zara because I just wanted to see what kind of pieces they have in there. Anything new, maybe. What else? Um, that's probably it. <laughs> that's probably just it. I may be going out tonight um, to Top Golf. Excuse me, with my little sister. We shall see because the weather in New York is kind of weird. It's already snowing, so I don't know if it's going to be like that all day or if it's going to stop. I'm not too sure, so we'll play that part by air. But the first three things that I mentioned is definitely going to happen. So we'll try, y'all. I'm trying. I'm going to bring my tripod with me. If I don't bring it with me, I'm going to, I guess, to not bring so much attention to myself, I'll probably just use, like, just use it in my hand, like, take my phone out and record on my hand. But, yeah. So yeah, the goal is to try and record today. I'm so literally the one thing I hate about um vlogging is really just people staring at me. Like I don't mind taking out my camera cuz that's whatever, but it's like I feel like people are looking at me like, "What is she doing? Why is she recording?" It's like not your business. <laughs> Nah, but for real, like, why are you looking at me? Clearly, if I'm recording or taking out my camera, like, I'm clearly recording something. Why is that any of your concern? And I'm not recording you. Like, I feel like also people be, like, when I pull out my camera to, like, record something, and they're, like, in the line of sight, they're thinking, I am recording them. No, I'm recording what you're next to or what product i'm walking by you just so happen to be in my camera's vision way but best believe the camera's not on you it's on the product or whatever i'm recording you just the background <laughs> pretty much okay so i'm gonna try to continue with that mindset today um if i don't end up going to top golf i did want to go to the gym and um work out a bit because i'm trying to i'm really y'all i'm really trying i have to, i have to as a matter of fact it ain't no trying at this point i have to lose some weight i'm way too damn big way too damn big so yeah so i probably will do like a evening gym session i'll see to be honest anything after the nail salon is being played by ear okay but the first three things that I mentioned is definitely happening today. So we shall see. I'm about to start getting ready because her orientation starts at 12 and it's 11.03 and I have no clue where I'm going. She hasn't told me how far it is or nothing like that. So I'm about to get my life and then I'll come back. Okay, so in the spirit of a vlog, we're going to do a little mini get ready with me outfit is very regular very plain very regular but it's it's gonna be the outfit of the day okay so let's see 
this top, right? Graphic tee. My trusty leggings. I'm gonna wear my black um, Uggs. They're called Tamsons, I think. They're like slippers, like slipper Uggs. Um, don't mind that. That's laundry. That will get done. I would never show y'all this because I don't want y'all thinking I'm dirty, but it's, I do laundry every two weeks. So actually I do every laundry every week, <laughs> but clearly I don't know where this clothes be coming from. My mom says it's because my laundry basket is mad small. So it'll always look over, like it'll always look full. So that's what it's given. It's given small laundry ba basket. But yeah, so let me put on some clothes because now it's 11, 11, 17 and I got to go see real regular, nothing, nothing too extravagant, it's a little cakey. And when we say little, we mean little. I had top. Actually, don't look that bad. Ever since I did that maintenance vlog, my hair's been giving, okay? Even when she just wakes up, my hair's still giving. We just gonna comb her out a bit. So, Yeah, my hair is still giving. Ever since I did that maintenance situation, hair is giving. Just needs to be touched up, which whatever. And when I say I haven't done nothing to my hair, I haven't curled it since I haven't like nothing. I just been getting up and going to, going to work. And I haven't re flat like pressed my is that a gray? Wow. Um, I haven't repressed or re flat ironed my leave out since like y'all. My hair is giving. Okay, this is why I love getting sew-ins during this weather because my hair stays straighter. Like my leave out stays straighter when the weather is like this. So get y'all sew-ins when it's like fall winter so we're about to wash our face this is disgusting i'm talking to y'all with morning breath and no washed face so i'm gonna put this on so i can wash my face Baby, you don't know what you do to me Between me and you, I feel a chemistry I won't let no one come and take your place Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced So no one else do That's why I'm not in my life with you I wanna please you anywhere I can I wanna share my world, don't you understand? to like have to recurl this hair which i'm not so i'm just trying to like swish it or judge it so that it look like you know i also like having like bed hair hair just woke up and i just ugh, went like this and woke up flawless yeah yeah i am gonna put some 
I'm not going to use edge control. I'm going to use the Sebastian spray with my edge brush and just fix the hairs a little bit. Not too much, not too much. And that's it. Because we're not doing nothing really. We're just <laughs> going to go run some errands. So hair don't need to be perfect. Okay, so we're going to throw on this black hoodie. So we're going to go for the all black. And then it has like this pop of orange in the back, which I think is so cute. And I think it says still his hoodie season. And it's not his hoodie. It's mine. I bought it for me. And then Apple Watch because we will be doing some walking today and we need that tracked. Okay. We need that. Last thing we forgot to put on was some Laneige. Laneige. Yeah. Perfume. Juliet has a gun. And Chanel Chance. I'm, I think, you know, I'm also going to look to see if I can get a new perfume for myself today because um, I'm running low. Like, all my perfumes are damn near done. Like, all of them. So, I like to layer. So, this first, Juliet has a gun. And then Chanel Chance on top. Every time I wear these two combos, everybody's like, oh my God, what do you have on? What do you have on? It smells so good. Okay, outfit check. This is what I have on. All black, everything. Come to here, show them what you're wearing. Oh. Okay, so I have my orientation. I'm wearing a black t-shirt, blue jeans, air forces. I got these earrings. Hair done by Liz. Mm hmm yeah yeah oh and mascara by Ilya and lip gloss uh small fridays okay great all right let's go guys okay so we're running extremely late i was under the impression that it was closer than we thought it was right so she has to be there for 12 it is now 12 11 and it says we'll get there at 12 14 now mm -hmm. Saying 12 13 or more, but I think it's because we're at a stop sign. Yeah. Stop light. Sorry. So, hopefully, it's not too big of a deal because I hate being late. Right. I hope it's not. Like, I hope yeah. once, I hope they give everybody a grace period, like 10 minutes, especially since it's like flurries outside. It's not mm -hmm. like snowing, but it's flurries for yeah. sure. So, hopefully, yeah. they give everybody like a grace period of like 10 minutes or something like that. Yeah. And I think most of us are like, teenagers i would assume because i feel like that's the only people that really volunteer because we need it for something yeah where's it at I'm so you're gonna keep going straight it'll be on your right eh? um, yeah but you can't you can go i think you can turn this one tiara oh. what do you mean you think what does it say it says keep going okay let me see the fold because you can't say i, I think because i saw the animal shelter but then Okay, because you're making me scared. That's the address they gave you? Yeah. Okay, well, let's see. So, unless, like, maybe, I don't know. Because it says I'm supposed to still be going straight, and it's in 3.03 miles, so let's see. they sent you this is what they sent me in the thing call them because where it says we arrived but where 
Maybe we're it was, in the middle of. Maybe it was where we where we had. But that wasn't three hundred then, because it told me to still keep going straight. But it said Brookhaven Animal Shelter. Girl, let's, look let's, up. Let's look. go back that way and see. Call them though and see, cause tell, ask them like, is they did they send that? Okay, so we made it to the orientation. It was like a whole thing to get here, but whatever. We're finally here now though. Um, she went inside. I'm just gonna wait out here for her because it ends at um, one o'clock. So it makes no sense for me to leave. So I'm just gonna wait for her. Um, but I did go to the gas station real quick. After I dropped her off, I just went to the gas station, filled up my little baby, and yeah. So, I'm excited because I wanted to try something. So, I've been hearing a lot of people talk about Celsius. Uh, yeah, I've been getting mixed, I've been hearing mixed reviews about it though, but I'm excited to, whatever, but I did want to try it so yeah so let's try it i got the mango passion fruit flavor because that sounds like it'll taste good so i got that flavor let me let me use my keys to open it because my nails i refuse to break a nail okay so this is what it looks like i did get a straw it smells good Got a straw. Let's try again. It's not bad. not bad it's acidic um it does say sparkling money the um yeah apparently it's an energy drink it is essential energy accelerates metabolism and burns body fat we need that so we'll see we'll see if i get through the day with that it's definitely it has like a taste to it that i can't pinpoint oh no it just tastes like an energy drink i guess that's the taste that i'm tasting <clears throat> i don't know yeah but let's see how much sugar it has oh zero grams of sugar that might be why because it definitely has that like sugar-free taste also so that's probably what i'm tasting okay but it doesn't taste terrible it's not like a terrible taste also what i got was some doritos i haven't had these in mad long doritos i used to love these as a kid i used to crush them like that so you get more chips in the bag yep and i also got some apple juice in case i didn't like the celsius so yeah but there's ain't nothing going on right now so far she got about eight minutes left so i'm about to finish eating this real quick and then we're gonna head to le mall okay guys so we've arrived at the mall so now we're about to go inside it's giving rich people yeah. with, with we're with the bourgeois mm -hmm. okay the mm -hmm. so now we're about to go inside so first day of vlogging in public she oh has anxiety God. she I thinks have... people are gonna look at her weird i surely do like <laughs> as, I, as i'm saying it my hands are starting to sweat so but they shouldn't because 
do YouTubers that you watch, what do you think they do? They just right. So they I'm, they're just like, hey guys, I know, <laughs> and that's what I'm trying to get past is like other people do it and they don't care. So I need to get to that point where it's like I don't care, and especially since I want to do this YouTube thing for real, for real. I'm really gonna have to be on that I don't care attitude. You gotta put on your big girl pants. Yeah, so, all right. Enough of our TED talk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so let's head inside. Spend some money, I guess. The little bit we'll have, but uh, we are gonna yeah. spend. Guys, it is freezing out here. <laughs> so cold. New York's weather is is so weird like there's no way you don't get sick in this weather like just last week it was high 60s and I was like it was like 20 degrees <laughs> all right y'all we walking into the mall now Walking inside and it looks packed today. I'm so nervous. <laughs> you got some vacation time. Yeah. You and your girlfriend too bad mind. My bad bad when you both come by. I don't know why you look so nice. Right now we're just taking time. Yeah. All the things are on your mind. I've actually been looking to buy something like this from Amazon. I might just get it from here. I want to put it behind my TV. So, that's this one. Oh, that's for the toilet. No. Our prices. So this 
this is the first outfit. It's a dress. You see me right about there, my cat area. It's really cute. Um, I love the neckline. Neckline is very pretty. This is why I need to lose weight. But I'm gonna obviously when I wear it have a shapewear on. Okay, this is just a plain bodysuit. I'm not gonna put it all the way down, but it does fit. I obviously, ooh, I obviously still have on a, I have on my sports bra, so it's not the best bra to have on with it. But I'm actually not gonna wear it with one. But um, it fits, so we're gonna get this. Okay, so this is me being real ambitious. Um, so I always wanted to get into the pink groove like it but it's small i wish they had a large but they don't this seems to be the only size that they have left i love the color i love it against my skin but it's way too tight as you can see my arms and that little fat that's trying to yeah no that's just feel like a stuffed can of biscuits so this is a no-no but it's cute though it's a lot going on with this sweater right but I was thinking of wearing it to the airport, like this would be more of like an airport outfit. And I would probably wear this with like some black sweats or black leggings or tights. Um, but this is what it looks like. The reason being that I wanna get it is because I have a pair of Nike sneakers um, that has orange in it and it has like the blue. I think this will be a cute, airport fit with those nike sneakers you feel me i never do something like this normally but we're stepping out of our comfort zone in 2023 so here's the stepping out you got some vacation time yeah you and your girlfriend too bad mind bad 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 when you both come by me i don't know why you look so nice now we're just taking time yeah. All the things are on your mind They don't want bad, bad, bad when I treat you right I don't care how you look so nice I need to hold a corner And it's no wine One time I need to hold a corner And it's no wine One time, yeah some vacation time. Yeah. All right, y'all. So I just went home, um, dropped off my little sister, ate real quick. We had stopped at Chipotle on our way back home. And I just got this big quesadilla. So I just ate real quick. So now I'm on my way to the nail salon for my appointment so i'm just going real simple i'm gonna get like some um i'm gonna get black french uh, right now it's my valentine's day nails to be honest it don't look like it needs to be done but it does that shouldn't take long my girl is very quick um so yeah i'm gonna keep the same length i'm not gonna cut them down or anything like that so yes update <laughs> we're no longer going top golf tonight um we're gonna go tomorrow instead um and we're gonna go earlier because tonight if we were gonna go tonight we were gonna go like around eight o'clock but um, since we're not going till tomorrow, um, we're gonna go more like around four, especially since it's Sunday. My little sister has school the next day. I have work on Monday, so we're gonna go earlier in the day tomorrow. After I finish with the nail salon, I'm gonna stop by Trader Joe's. I'm gonna get um, my mom and I some yogurt, cause like I said, I'm trying to get on this like healthy, healthier kick situation so i want to now bring yogurt for breakfast so trader joe's 
have some really good yogurt flavors that I really loved. I tried them out last night, um, Greek yogurt, and it was really good. So I'm gonna go and get a couple more of those. Well, a few more of those, more than a couple. A few more of those, what else? The houses over here is nice. It's giving luxury. These houses are huge over here. I never took time to notice that. And I drive past here all the time, but every time I drive past here, I'm always rushing anyways to go to the nail salon. <laughs> so I'll be having time to browse, but the houses over here are very big. It's very nice, okay. Um, what was I about to tell y'all? Coffee. I wanna get some coffee from there. They have like, so right now, um, we're on the look for a coffee that we like. It's weird, but Maxwell don't really taste like nothing to us. Um, Chuck full of nuts tastes like ass. It's literally water. The one that we've been drinking that we like so far is Bustelo. That one is very good, or not very good. It's mid, it's high, you know. It's, it does what it needs to do, I guess. But I wanna see if like, um, the ones where you get the beans and you grind them, would that be any better? So I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's and get that because they have the machine where you can grind it. And so I'm gonna, yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. So those are the only two things I'm getting. And that's it. Take my behind back home. I wanna get ready for bed. I wanna watch. A show I heard that you was back on Netflix now so I want to start watching that tonight so yeah tonight is just a very relaxing chill night I know I said I wanted to go to the gym I'm gonna see how I feel when I get back home yeah I'm gonna see how I feel when I get back home because I'm not gonna hold y'all I'm not feeling it tonight but never feel like ever going to the gym so it's just one of those situations where it's like you're gonna have to suck it up back it is now 806 yeah 806 i'm gonna start that pile of laundry that y'all see back there i'm gonna start that now oh my god my eyes that's so so yeah no we went to the mall and all that stuff so when we were at the mall today um i stopped in sephora and let me just show y'all what i got So I've been wanting to try this for quite a, you know, quite some time. The Topicals Faded Brightening and Clearing Serum. Um, apparently this is really good for fading out dark marks and evening out your skin tone. So currently what I use is the Good Molecules um, Discoloration Serum. So I got the mini of this because I just want to try it out and see if it works because my skin is very sensitive. So it's very much like a hit or miss when it comes to certain products. So before I pull the plug and, you know, buy the big bottle, I decided to get the mini instead. Okay, so it's like a tube type of thing. Okay, so yeah, we're going to try this. We're going to start incorporating this into our skin routine. I'm wondering if I should use it like during the day or at night. I'm going to read what it says. Fade the look of your most stubborn marks, scars, and spots. This serum is packed with powerful powerful <laughs> it's packed with powerful actives that let you kick back and let your worries fade away and what it does it, it balances smooths and brightens your skin and 
for how to use, you use it once a week to start and then you wake work your way up to daily use um, and use, uh, use sun protection during the day. I think I'll do is one of the days during the week, I will use it instead of the good molecules. So I'll substitute this for the good molecules for like one day during the week and see what happens. Next thing I got, so like I mentioned today, I am out of perfume, okay? Every perfume that I have at this point is damn near almost done. So I wanted to like re-up on some perfume, but I was in Sephora for a while, you know, spraying everything, smelling, and it got to the point where everything was smelling like each other or like I wasn't really truly getting the scent of anything because I guess I just kept smelling perfumes and I didn't see like coffee beans or anything like that to smell in between um, each perfume. So I was like very annoyed and I was just like over it at that point. So I wanted to get this brand for a, you know, for some time. This has been, I've been wanting to get this for some time, but they have so many different scents. I don't know what's good. And then, you know, you can't just spray something on a piece of paper and expect it to smell the same way on you when you put it on. Like, that's not how it works. So, um, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to invest in the Discovery set and try everything out and see what best works with my body chemistry. So, that is this brand here, Replica. So, they have about 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 10 cents. And I think this is all of their scents. Um, they're just minis. They're like mini test, like, you know, the ones you'll get in the magazine. It's that size. So that's what it looks like. I already used this one, so that's why it looks a little lower than everything else. I already sprayed this one today. Um, and it smelled really good. What did I spray it? Did I spray it on my neck? But it does smell very good, so... I'm thinking it, it might be the one, but we're going to see. So let me just tell you what scents they have. They have Jazz Club, Under the Lemon Tree, Bubble Bath, Sailing Day, Beach Walk, Springtime in the Park, Coffee Break, Autumn Vibes, By the Fireplace, Lazy Sunday Morning. So, and I think there's actually, there's one missing. It's called On a Date, but I actually did not like that scent at all. So I'm actually glad it's not in here because I would have never used it. But I'm excited to try these and see what be best work with my body chemistry. And we'll go from there. So once I figure out what scents I'm in love with, then I'll go out and I'll purchase the big bottle or the full size. I also got this. Um... I've actually never heard of this brand before. It's called Abbott. What is that? Crescent Beach. So that's what it looks like. Um, it smells very clean. I'm not too sure if you guys are uh, familiar with the brand Clean. Is it Clean? Yeah, the brand Clean. Yeah. And they have a scent called Warm Cotton. This smells exactly like it. Yeah, this smells exactly like clean. So I got this. Um, I think it was like $29 for it. So once again, it's one of these things. I just have to try it out with my body chemistry. And I always do this with all perfumes um, that I'm trying out. So before I get them, like the full-size bottles, I get the tester, make sure I like them, spray it on, and you know, how it lasts throughout the day. I used to buy perfumes, big bottles, and like them in the store, or I'll spray them right here, like them, whatever, and I'll just purchase it. But then, you know, as the day go on or whatever, I'd never go back and see like, you know, how it's holding up. And then I'll end up putting it on and, you know, going out or whatever. And then after a while, I don't like how it smells anymore. Like, it doesn't smell good to me or it doesn't work well with my body chemistry. And so I'll have these bottles of perfume, big bottles at that, like 3.2 ounces, all of that. And they'll just be sitting there not being used. And then that's how you know they get stale and old like this. I bought this Dior 
a while ago now granted it's not the full bottle but this is i think this is like the one point something ounce 1.2 ounce and it 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 was costly this is the miss dior absolutely blooming now i thought i liked the scent <laughs> because when i went into the store i sprayed it. i was like mm, this smells good whatever i bought it i wore it one day and i actually did not like how it smelled it smelled weird to me like it did not smell like it was for me even still it kind of smells like an old lady but so that's why i buy more of like the travel size of perfumes so i make sure like i actually like it uh what else did i buy okay so I, um, there's this girl I follow on YouTube and she uses this for her hair. It's the, um, Way Scalp and Body Scrub. It actually smells so good. It smells, it smells fruity. It smells like coconut. Like it has coconut or something in here. Mm -hmm. It has coconut oil, hibiscus, sugar, yeah, so it's just, it's pretty much a, a scrub, like a sugar scrub, but you can use it on your scalp and your body. Um, this is also the, um, I guess the travel size, or this is the mini, because they actually, you know, they have a bigger size, but I picked up the mini, because once again, I want to try it. I want to try it on my scalp, actually. Yeah, I more bought it to try it on my scalp than anything, so I'm actually excited to see how that turns out um so that's pretty much all i bought from sephora why well, i felt like i bought more things like all of this was 112 dollars i don't know okay and then i think i showed y'all this but not too sure but i got the, this from zara it's called captivatingly paris this one actually smelled good in the store so I bought the big bottle of it because they didn't have the smaller size so i hope it's packaged this pack is so cutely so this is what it looks like when you take off that white the white sleeve and then you open it and there's this card in there that says captivatingly paris and then it says this collection takes its inspiration from our return to the pioneering spirit of travel and the discovery of the vibrancy of life again. I don't know what that means. But then this is what it looks like in the box, in the package. What's that? Oh, that's the sensor. And then you take it out. Oh, and that's it. And it just says on a bottle, a love song. What? A love song sings to all our senses. This is actually broken. <laughs> <laughs> it came off zara come on now i'm actually very pissed that this happened i was just talking about your packaging what is that okay okay i pasted it back on it seems like it's on there now so yeah i got this and i figured it, it did smell good in the store so i'm excited to wear this and then I also got this perfume as well. Clearly it was a perfume day. So this is called Nuit. 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 Might be pronouncing that wrong. But this one, I did get the smaller size in this because I wasn't in love with it in the store. But it did smell good. Like I was in this while I was in the store, I was torn between these two scents. Um, I knew I loved this one, but then I still wasn't too sure. So I did get the smaller version of this. This was like $11 in Zara. It was like $10.99 or $10.90. And so does it not want to open? Yeah, so this, this is a good layery scent. It smells really good. Like if you were to layer it. And it has like, it has a fresh powdery scent too. I smell like, it has like a powder scent to it. Yeah, this is very fresh. Hmm, I think I like it.
like it. So, and then this one is more. Hmm. I'm not too sure. I smell. It smells like it has pear in here. But it's not fruity. Like I smell pear, but it's paired with like it's pear and with something else. Cause it doesn't smell like fruity fruity, if that makes sense. I like it. So and this is also a good layery scent. I'll probably layer it with another perfume and you know, call it a day. So yeah, that's what I got. So now let's put everything on my perfume stand. Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna put the new fragrances that we have up on the shelf. Um, so I'm gonna put this one back here and I'll keep all the Zara's on one shelf. Like that, I think. Let's see. And then um, move her up a bit, and I think I'm gonna put Miss Dior in the middle, like that. Yeah, so Saint Laurent, Dior, Chanel. Um, oh, well, I thought I had more than that, so that's it. So let me bring this back down a bit. How's it looking, y'all? To be honest, we're gonna bring that down here. And then, so this is what we're gonna do. Yeah, we're gonna do it like this. This makes more sense to me. Um, so yeah, yeah. This is how we're going to keep it for now. And then our discovery scent. Can we put her on the shelf too? We can't. But we could put her right here. Maybe. And then as of right now, I've been putting like all my travel ones down here. But I'm going to move them. I'm going to move them. That's it. So I'm gonna move them up. I need to get a container to put it in, but for now I'm gonna put it in this thing right here. And yeah, by the way, this good girl smells amazing. Okay, I love it. I got the travel size because once again, I was trying it. This also smells good. As you can see, it's done. But I keep it just so I know which one to go back for when I'm ready to buy the full, um, the bigger bottle. And so, yeah, our perfume collection is looking bigger. It's looking good so far. Also, I want to mention how happy I am that I was able to get the black Zara jacket. I mean, blazer. The double busted blazer. It is so cute. And let me tell y'all a little story time. This was a come up, okay? Because um, I had saw it online and I've been eyeing it for a while. Because, you know, their blazers are... They're essential, so they're always in stock and they're always on their, you know, on their website and stuff. And I had added this particular, the same exact one. I added it to my cart on Zara, like on Thursday or Wednesday. And I was like, you know, with when I get paid on Friday, I'ma just pull the plug and buy it. But it was eighty nine ninety, right? Yeah. So I was gonna purchase it online. Um, and it was $89.90 and then, you know, after tax and shipping and all that stuff, it would damn near came up to $100. But I really wanted the jacket, so I was just going to buy it. But then 
I had the random idea of going to the mall today because I am going to Houston next weekend. And I just wanted to see if there was any cute pieces I could find in Zara or, you know, in any store at the mall to bring with me on my trip. So obviously the only mall that has a Zara is like 30 minutes away. So that's the mall I went to. And I went in there and this was the first thing I saw as soon as I walked into the store. And so I was like, damn. So I tried it on because, you know, Zara sizes be weird. So I tried it on an uh, extra large because I want, I don't want my arms to be too tight. And I got a little chunky arms or whatever. We're not going to talk about that too much. But yeah, so I tried on the extra large and it fit perfectly. Yeah, I saw a clip of it. And I was just like, I have to get it. And so when I looked at the tag to see, you know, the price, which in my head, I was like, oh, it's $89.99 because this has to be the same jacket. But just, I don't know, something just told me to look at the tag because I was like, you know, let me just make sure. I looked at the tag and it says $69.90. Look at that. $69.90. I was like, God, is that you? Because what is this blessing you done put upon me? So I snatched it up. Even if I was not going to buy it, <laughs> it wasn't going to be left on the shelf. But I already had in my head that I was going to purchase it. So I snatched it up. I don't leave out the store with nothing else. This is exact, like, I'm leaving out with this jet, with this blazer. So I, you know, walked around, picked up a, you know, a few other stuff. And so it's time to get to the register. And I saw that Zara now has a self-checkout. I'm not too sure if that's a thing now in all Zara's but the one I went to they had a self-checkout and so I went in I went to the self-checkout and Zara has a thing where you have to where you don't necessarily scan the tag you just put all your items in a bin that's attached to the self-checkout and I don't know how but it like censors what items you have and so it comes up on the screen I guess I don't know it's weird anyways it it came up as $89.90 and I was like no so I called the guy over that was working in the self-checkout area and I was like as you can see the tag says it's $69.90 but it's coming up $89.90 he goes oh um well since there's a discrepancy with the price tag and the price on the screen you'd have to go to you know like to the register and you know have someone ring it out for you because we can't change the price on self-checkout so i was like okay no problem so the line actually wasn't that long so i was like okay so i went online and i had this guy and as soon as i woke up there i was like the tax is at $69.99 and he was just like no problem relax we can like he didn't say relax but he was just like it's okay i can i'll ring it out for what the price is on the tag for you and i was just like oh Okay, because I was, and I'm telling you, I'm on the line, like, pretty much foreshadowing what the interaction would have been like. I'm over here like, well, like, if he was to give me a hard time, well, can I speak to your manager? Because on the tag, it says the $69.90. Like, I was ready for the, all the smoke. I was ready. But, um, no, they were pretty nice. So, I love Zara now. <laughs> Not that I didn't love it before. 90% 90, 90 of my fits in my, um closet is zara so i love a zara but i love this blazer even more because i got it for cheaper now i'm pretty sure this was just a glitch because no other because i even checked to see maybe it's on sale in the store like the store has a different price than what it has on online but when i check the other blazers even the same blazers that are like also black but other sizes or whatever was coming up as 89.90 that's what it said on the tag and this was the only one that said $69.90 and I was like that is a sign from God that I need this blazer so best believe this blazer is is gonna get some wears out of this okay I love it it's so stinking cute so I just want to share that little story time with y'all okay guys so we are showered um have my favorite pjs on from target um so yeah do my little skincare my nighttime skincare i first want to say i am extremely proud of myself for um getting through the day but we'll touch on that in a little bit 
So I'm gonna do my skincare and yeah. <laughs> It's not that I don't want you here It's something about the way you stare into my I know that I don't make things clear I fall for you every time I try to resist We can get away, I'm just bitch, feel feeling every day All I wanna hear is an episode that we play Staring next to you So you've made it to the end of today's vlog. Wow, we completed an entire day of vlogging. And I must say, um, it's kind of, it's still kind of very weird to me. Like I still always think about like people looking at me and stuff and seeing me, you know, vlog and record, but it actually wasn't that bad. Like. I didn't feel that bad like there was a few people that they saw the tripod in my hand even though i wasn't recording they were still looking at me like i just saw like people just staring at me but it's okay i guess because i have my little sister with me it kind of helped um to distract me from noticing people staring at me um so that was cool now the next step is to be comfortable enough to do it even when I'm by myself because not all the time I'm going to have somebody with me. But having her with me today did help. So I'm glad she came. Um, and yes, thank you guys so much for sticking through this video. If you did, <laughs> thank you guys so much. I greatly appreciate it. Um, we about to hit the haystack because a girl is tired okay so don't forget to like comment share and subscribe um leave in the comment section what was your favorite part of today and once again i appreciate you guys for watching this video um more vlogs to come um yeah but in the meantime <laughs>